Tonight, a Denver man is using technology to take mindfulness and intentionality to a whole other level. As the creator tells Fox 31 Samantha Spitz, this new app is intended to be a resource for mental health and wellness. Yeah, Kim, the journaling app called Pensive is a secure place to reflect on original thoughts and feelings with the option to share with those that matter most. Now, this is all without the pressures of other social media apps with likes and emojis. In a city bustling with life, a constant rush of thoughts and emotions pass through, each different from the rest. And when I learned about the loneliness epidemic uh, in the United States, something just kind of clicked for me. With a mission to be part of the solution, Jin Yun Shin created a digital space to keep track of life's most precious moments. It's uh, intended to be a mental health tool that really helps that process of self-reflection and increase your self-awareness. As you use the app, um, you're encouraged to first identify your feelings and then expand on them. While that feels like such an elementary practice, um, there's a lot of research and science that supports how important that is to increase self-awareness. Right now, I'm sitting with Sam and I'm getting to talk about mental health, which is awesome. So I'm feeling grateful. The app allows users to categorize their entry, upload photos, voice recordings, and even share with their contacts. There's real evidence that suggests, yeah, when you put yourself through that rigor first, you experience like this uh, slow release of pleasure throughout your day. Research suggests that looking at your emotions and being able to identify them has a similar effect. Jinyun says their app is even being used in therapy clinics. And we've heard some incredible, incredible success stories of people learning how to manage their distress and bring down their stress. With everything stored safely in one place, users can look back on entries and compare emotions felt month to month. Yeah, we wanted it to be something that you can always have in your pocket something you can feel secure about. And my hope is that we can use digital spaces as social spaces and not feel threatened, that we can connect truly with people um, all across the world that are meaningful to us and keep in touch uh, and not just curate our lives. You know, all thoughts and reflections are kept private unless the user decides to share them. Now, this app is free and available for download on the App Store and Google Play. In studio, Samantha Spitz, Fox 31. All right, Samantha, thank you.